Hello! Yeah, that's Intern Susie for you. Yes, Intern Susie, I told you guys I'd give you her story. Um, a little day late, but, you know, that's... That's only because she, uh... She's a little camera shy, as you may have guessed. Um, but yeah, this is her story, um... For those that are uh, interested in hearing more about her, like her habits, um, sorry, I'm not going to share that with you. That'd be rude. All right. <clears throat> so, part of part of her story only came to me as hearsay because I've only known this cat for about four years, and they've been a wonderful four years because I love this cat. I mean, seriously. Since this cat came into my life, I've had significantly less stress whenever she's around. She is just a lover. I mean, seriously, this cat just is wonderful. And, um, yeah, her, her, her beginnings are kind of sad, though. Because, you see, she, uh, to my knowledge anyway, she was a rescue cat. Um, I was told just that she was a rescue kitty. I don't know if it was she was rescued from an abusive household or if she was part of a kitten mill or something like that. And um, she, uh, she ended up being adopted by her previous owner, whom I'm not going to mention his name, although if he sees Susie on, on uh, Intern Susie, rather, on YouTube, he's probably going to be like, oh, Intern Susie! And remember all the wonderful memories he had with her, because, you know, as as I said, she's a wonderful cat. She is the most lovable, adoring cat that's ever lived. Um, and I'm hoping she's not destroying my air mattress that I have to sleep on. Um, well, after he adopted her, he ended up moving from, I believe, either North or South Carolina, one of the two, all the way out here to Northern Virginia uh, to live with the woman who was my now ex-wife. Um, and he lived with her for, I think, a year or so. And when he left, I'm not exactly sure of the details on this either, because again, hearsay. Um, either he abandoned her, or he just ended up moving and couldn't take her with him or something. And she ended up staying with the woman who was my wife. And then flash forward a couple of years, and I come into the picture. Me, DJ Winza. And, uh, I moved in. I, I had been friends with the woman who was my wife for several years. That's that's another story I'll leave for another video. But uh, when I moved in, this cat just glommed right onto me. I mean, she just jumped right in my lap and just started purring and rubbing all over me. And I'm like, oh, you're such a nice cat. What's her name? Susie? Oh, hello, Susie. Good girl. Now she's like straddling my arm. <laughs> Seriously, she just lifted her leg up over my arm. Um, <laughs> as I said, this cat loves me. Right now, she's doing that kneading thing on my on my leg, and it hurts a lot. Um, but yeah, flash forward to now, and uh, my wife didn't want to take her with her. She took the other cat, Ember. Uh, I miss you, Ember. If you, if you, if your uh, current master plays this video somewhere, miss you, Emmy. Susie misses you too. You were her sister, not not by blood or anything, but they lived together for many years. Um, and uh, yeah, now I'm uh, now I'm here. I'm in uh, beautiful old town Alexandria. It's actually a pretty nice place. There's a whole bunch of places to go at night, a whole bunch of places to go during the day, and I've got her fur all over my face. 
You see, that's the only drawback to having a cat that really, really loves you. If it sheds a lot, yeah, get that's going right up your nose and right into your lungs where you'll hack it up later as a fur ball. Isn't that right, Susie? Yeah, here, let me let me bring the microphone closer to her so you can you hear that. I'm not sure if it's coming through on the video, but she purrs as as my friend um, as my friend Madam or Locomo puts it. She is a rumble puss because she loves to purr loud. But, uh, yeah, she now lives with me in Old Town Alexandria with a few uh, really nice roommates. Um, and, uh, yeah, she's just as happy as ever. I've got her a uh, scratching post so she doesn't destroy my roommate's furniture. And I got, like, pheromone stuff to keep her off of that furniture anyway. And she, she still just adores me, and I adore her. She's the best cat ever. Oh, you okay, baby? Man, you sneezed almost as much as a as a baby panda, and I almost reacted like one. <laughs> all right, well, that's all for the Stoozy. Damn it, that's all for the story of Susie. As I say, uh, as I said in the last video, I'm not going to bother editing these things because one, I don't know how, and two, I don't really care. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, if you have any ideas for any stories you want to hear me talk about, or, um, like if there's actual interest in anything I have to say, please let me know in the comment section below. There we go. Yeah, my hand's in the correct place now. The comment section right there. See that? Yeah. It's right underneath the description and any comments I may have made where it says comment. Yeah. Type something in there. Even if it's, uh, ooby doob skadooby, I really don't care. <laughs> um, and if you like the video, there's a like button, like, right there. Well, no, not there. That's where the dislike button. And she's pushing my hand off. <laughs> she, she's like, I want the camera all to myself. Purr, purr, purr. That's right, Susie. You're a good girl. All right, I need to stop this thing before she massacres my desk. All right, I'll see you guys later. Peace.